So what we'll need to do is to start off with just add a entry into the address book is we'll need to get into the scan and send mode. So press scan and send. And then we want to go into the address book. So we'll press address book. We'll want to press register and edit because that's what we're going to be doing today is registering an address. And we'll have to press register new destination. And the destination will be an email, so we'll press email. You'll need to enter in a name, so we'll need to press name. And you have your shift keys down here for capital letters. You can shift lock it, or you can just press caps as well. Press OK. Then we'll enter in the email address. Add signs down in the lower right corner. When we're satisfied with the spelling, if there's any errors or anything, you can move the cursor back and forth using the arrow keys if you've made any mistakes. Or you can also use the backspace key, which will delete every, every time you press. It'll delete one letter at a time. We're satisfied with what the way that that looks. We can also do alphanumeric characters if you wish, and it switches everything around. Satisfied with the way it looks, we'll press OK. It also has divide data down here. If the email is too large and it will get blocked by an email server, depending on the size of the email, sometimes you may want to turn that on. What it does is it divides and sends the email in clumps of email. Uh, but then you need to have special software that will combine the email back together and if you don't have that it's recommended to keep that as off. Then with everything set the way we want it, you can also set up the address list up here as well. There's multiple address lists up to 10 or actually more than that. We'll just keep it in address list 1 for now. We can press OK and it's now programmed that in, in the machine here. If you wanted to delete the address you can also delete it by just choosing it and you can press the delete key and it will delete it or you can also edit the entity as well by pressing details edit in case you made an, a mistake or if a person's name changed and uh, you can edit that and just press OK. Now it is entered in there and we'll press OK here and now when you want to go see the you want to use the address book for that entity, you simply come back in the address book and choose it, put your originals in the doc feeder, and press start and it will scan and send it to that destination.